First is the maxim of quality. Iago, using implicit persuasion, breaks this maxim almost immediately, saying, I am not what I am. Though this line is not said directly to Othello, it is a precursor to the impending deception. In Act 2, Iago lies outright, saying that I had rather have this tongue cut from my mouth than it should do offense to Michael Cassio. Even up to the end of the play, Iago remains deceitful when, after Amelia accuses him, you told a lie, an odious damned lie. He responds, what, are you mad? I charge you, get you home. Iago knows that he has been untruthful and continues to pretend as if he had no idea what Amelia is talking about. Iago constantly breaks the maxim of quality throughout the play, as is consistent with his modus operandi of implicit persuasion. In contrast, in Macbeth, Lady Macbeth has no reason to be untruthful with Macbeth, because he already knows her true motives. Rather, it benefits her to be honest and direct, as she says prior to the murder of Duncan, Oh, never shall son that morrow see. In this statement, she makes it clear her intention of murder. Later, she admits, these deeds must not be thought after these ways, so it will make us mad. In saying this, she, like Iago, recognizes the wrongness of her actions, but unlike Iago, she expresses this to the person who is the subject of her manipulations. Her honesty enables her to gain the trust of Macbeth. Her rigid adherence to this maxim only applies when speaking with Macbeth. She has no problem lying to other characters, that is, until her descent into madness. At this point, her distinction between speaking with Macbeth versus other characters breaks down... Oh God, this is awful. I'm not gonna graduate. It sounded good. You'll be fine. You're just doubting yourself. I can't even deliver it to you. How am I gonna present this in front of my whole class? You've got this. I know you do. Now, take it from the top. <sighs> okay. First is the maxim of quality. Iago, using implicit persuasion, breaks this maxim almost immediately, saying, I am not what I am. 